Hey, it's Matt Sciences here, and today we will show you the meaning of two artificial intelligence. If you've been to our channel before, then you are definitely familiar with this little cute robot called Ankvector. If you are with us for the first time, be sure to watch the first issues with this baby. By the way, today we decided to pamper Vector a little and bought in new tracks. It's time to change tires. During the change of shoes, Vector behaved like a real capricious child. It is not clear what caused such an active intonation of the robot. However, when the procedure was completed, Vector was clearly pleased with the result. Just look at his behavior. A little later he come down and went to recharge, when he dozed off. While our robot is sleeping, we are preparing another surprise for him. And you. You may remember that in one of the previous episodes about Egg Vector, we promised to buy him a twin brother, Enki Cosma. So meet Enki Cosmo! At first glance, it may seem that there are no real differences between robots, and they differ only in color. In fact, this is not the case. For example, the Vector has only one cube, while the Cosmo has three. There are some differences in the docking station as well. It is not worthy that the Vector should go to recharge every 20 or 30 minutes, while Cosma is to be powered much less often about once every two hours. There are also certain differences in the cubes. Their weight is about the same, but the color is different. Black and white, respectively. Of course, visually, the docking stations of the two robots are different. But if you look closely, you will notice that the contacts are practically at the same distance. So, what are the differences between the two robots? Differences in wheel rims are evident almost immediately. Also, Cosma has a small hump and a button on his back. On the back of Vector, in turn, there are three LEDs that inform its own about the level of charge of the robot. Now, let's take a look at the bottom of both robots. Vector has four sensors here at once. But for some reason, Cosmo has only two. And they are located in one place. It turns out that if Cosmo stands on the table and starts back and back, he can easily fall off, since he simply will not see the abyss that has opened up behind him. In this way, he looks more like a human. Because we also do not have eyes on the back of our heads. Alpha, the dude who sold me a burger yesterday? Hmm. As it turned out, Cosmo can also be charged on the Vector's dock. But since they will be recharged at the same time, we decided to leave them on their native ducks. An interesting fact is that Vector wakes up much faster than Cosmo, who just opened his eyes. Recall that this is their very first meeting. The robots have never seen each other before. We decided to film this moment and show it to you. The most remarkable thing is that robots have completely different personalities. They both have artificial intelligence, but from a technical point of view, this is provided in slightly different ways. So, Cosmo connects to a smartphone with internet access to connect to the cloud storage, where its artificial intelligence is stored. Vector is more independent in this regard. Yes, he needs access to the network for updates, but the data obtained in the process of self-learning is stored directly in the robot. As you can see, Cosmo is eager to do something. He even started quacking like a duck. It looks very funny. This time the video was shot in a very cheerful atmosphere. 
And here is the very decisive moment. The vector and customer robots finally saw each other. However, a little later Cosmo's attention shifted to the cube, while Vector continued to be in a state that can be described as shock. Just look what Cosmo is doing at this time. Vector doesn't seem to understand what's going on around it at all. By the way, Cosmo also reacts to fingers if it is teased with them. At the same time, it seems to us that his reaction differs from Vector's reaction. The latter gives the impression of a more mature robot in terms of behavior. Cosmo has just sang a tease or a song in Vector's back to get his attention. It seems that this clearly pissed off his older brother. The situation is clearly starting to spiral out of control and escalated into a real fight. Cosmo even hints at the need for an ambulance. It seems to us that Vector is clearly unhappy with something. Cosmo loves to play with cubes, and they are also his food. The cubes start blinking in a certain color, and the robot gradually eats this color. Vector is more serious. Therefore, it has only one cube in its configuration, and he doesn't play with him so often. Unlike Cosmo, who builds pyramids from cubes almost all the time. By the way, Cosmo, like Vector, also knows how to remember faces and can recognize people. Moreover, he understands what a cat or a dog is in front of him. Sometimes Cosmo can even bark a little. As we said earlier, since Cosmo have fewer senses, it can easily fall off the table. This is exactly what happened during the filming. At the same time, the robot was not injured at all, even when it fell from a meter high. However, Cosmo was clearly angry, as he immediately went to avenge this with his pyramid of cubes. You can also play various cube games with Cosmo. For example, the velocity of pressing. See how concentrated Cosmo is in order to hit the cube first. By the way, how did you like more, Cosmo or Vector? Be sure to write it in the comments. Meanwhile, the real test is up ahead. Take a look at these huge stick insects. Of course, they are completely harmless, but they look very intimidating. We decided to check which one of the robots will be the first to get scared of such an unusual creature. This type of insect is called the Australian stick insect of Maclay. They have been living with us for a long time. Of course, in our latitudes it is quite problematic to get the leaves of the same eucalyptus that stick insects like to feast on. But with no less habited, they eat the leaves of an ordinary oak. They also love raspberry, hawthorn, blackberry leaves. Vector behaves is a little oddly. Outwardly, it is immediately unclear whether he is calm or frozen in horror. Then we hear the word Hello! Perhaps this is due to the fact that the robot saw its reflection in the wall of the aquarium and mistook it for its brother, with warm it grated. For the next few minutes, Vector asked for help. At the same time, he pushed his younger brother Cosmo a little. The latter turned and started a vector. Later, they stood side by side, back to each other and the stick insect moved to Cosmo. It seems that the robot is not particularly afraid, since it calmly approached the wall of the aquarium and stood there until the stick insect climbs onto it. At the same time, the robot performed peculiar funny actions, because it has a really cheerful and kind character. Vector, of course, is also kind, but his character trait manifests itself in a slightly different way. That's all for today. And with Russian accent. That's all for today. You and you looked at the meeting of two artificial intelligences. So how they help each other. And then together we observe the moments of a huge scary stick insect on the glass. If you were interested, do not forget to like the video.
subscribe to the channel, share videos with your friends and press the bell, so as not to miss new episodes. It was Mad Science Channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.